हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक टू अनदर स्ट्रेंथ ट्रेनिंग सेशन विद कल फिट होम आई एम योर कोच नीतीश बलाल एंड आई एम योर विद डम्बल वर्कआउट फॉर योर इंटायर बॉडी बिफोर वी गेट स्टार्टेड मेक श्योर यू हैव अ पेयर ऑफ डम्बल्स योगा मैट हैंड टॉल एंड अ वाटर बॉटल बिकॉज वी आर गोइंग टू हैव अ लॉड ऑफ फन टूडे लाइक आई सेट इज गोइंग टू बी अ फुल बॉडी वर्कआउट सो वी गोइंट टू मेक श्योर दैट वी वार्म अप आर एंटायर बॉडी बिफोर वी गेट स्टार्टेड विद द वर्कआउट विदाउट फर्दर डू लेट गेट स्ट्रेट इन टू द वार्म अप Okay the first movement that we'll do is going to be a combination of inchworm plus the cobra so what we'll do is we'll start from the one end of the mat keep your feet as wide as possible so that you can get the palms on the floor without bending your knees from there crawl forwards get into your high plank and from there move ahead and go hold your cobra once you're in the cobra again come back to high plank and crawl all the way back from doing an inchworm and come back to your starting position we'll do this for 30 seconds let's get started this is going to be our first movement again warms up our shoulders core hamstrings stretches our core the cobra pose specifically deltoids get activated really well when you're doing the inchworms make sure you're keeping the weight on your palms in the cobra pose try and keep the thighs in contact with the floor but not the knees the moment you touch the knees it takes the strain away from your body and then come back all right 30 seconds let's move on to the second movement so because like i said we are doing a full body movement we want to make sure our lower body also gets activated we'll do a new movement today which is called a candlestick squat uh while you might not have heard of this particular movement per se a uh, candlestick roll is something more popular but because i want to focus on my quads we are going to roll back down so you'll start in the seated position as if you're doing going to do a glute bridge from there lie down pull the knee to your chest come back forward stand up straight this is what i would like to call as a candlestick squat right just helps you get some momentum gets your heart rate up and targets your lower body really well Let's do 30 seconds of this as well. All right, everybody, stand in front of your mat. Let's start in three, two, one. Let's go. Go down into a squat. Lie down. Pull the knee to your chest. Forward and stand. If it's too challenging, you can also use your arms when you come to the front. Press the floor and stand up. The idea is to just get some blood flow into the muscles and then activate our muscles for the workout. Right, ten more seconds. In fact, four, three, two, one, and done. All right. Third one is going to be just for our shoulders, a little bit and our scapula. The movement we've done this in the past is called an around the world. You're going to stand with your arms spread out. From there, get one arm behind your lower back, one arm behind your neck. All you have to do is pull your shoulders back, extend your arms, and then switch while you get them up. Right. Let's call around the world again. We'll do this for thirty seconds. Let's go. All right. Ten seconds up. Keep moving. Make sure you pull your shoulders back when you're doing the around the world movement. Ten more seconds. and 3 2 1 and rest okay that was one set we'll do the all three movements for one more set inchworm to cobra candlestick squats and then finally around the world one last set 30 seconds each let's go back up and then go back stand up straight and repeat <clears throat> up and back and that is 30 seconds moving on to the next movement candlestick squats move to the front end of the mat squat down lie back down come back up stand up straight Let's go. 
One. Every time you stand up, breathe out, reset, and then go back once again. This also kind of improves your mobility across the hip because you're actually forcing your body to kind of get into that groove. You're almost done. Let's do one more rep. And that's 30 seconds. In fact, slightly more than that. Okay, third movement. Around the world, get your arms out. One arm behind your neck, one arm behind your lower back. Pull the shoulder blades back and go for 30 seconds. Keep moving. Make sure your elbows are pulled back. Around the world for 30 seconds. We're almost there. This movement looks very easy, but it's actually super effective for your deltoids. And 30 seconds up. All right, that brings us to the end of our warm up, but we are not done yet. We will also do some movement just to kind of activate the muscle fibers before we get started with the actual workout. We've just got two movements for that. The first one is what we call the cat camel. Get down on your knees, keep your palms under your shoulders, knees under your hips. Nice and simple. For the cat, all you have to do is hunch your back. Uh, for the camel, hunch your back, look towards your belly button. For the cat, push your chest towards the floor look up as much as you can this opens up your hip it opens up your thoracic spine as well we'll do this for 30 seconds let's begin in three two one let's go Almost there. That's 30 seconds. Just finishing it off with the cat pose. All right. That was for our upper body. For the lower body, we'll do another movement, which is going to be the 90-90 transitions. Now this time, so there are two ways in which you can do the 90-90 transitions. You sit down, get the knees onto the floor. Both the knees will have a 90 degree angle. In this position, what happens is your hip comes off the floor. But today, we're going to focus on keeping the hips in contact with the floor. So your knees are going to stop here. And this is the end range of point where if I take my knees further, the hip will come off the floor. So I'm going to stay here and just switch from one point to the other for 30 seconds. Everybody get into a nice good position for 90-90. And let's begin in three, two, one, let's go. Again, this movement helps you a lot with stretching the glute as well as the adductors. Adductors are your area near your groin. Glutes are the outside portion at the top end of your abductors. Halfway there. Hold that end position for about one or two seconds. It really helps you stretch that much more. And 30 seconds it is. Excellent. That was the activation for our lower body and cat camel was for our upper body. Quickly grab a sip of water, wipe that sweat off if you are just like me and then we'll move straight into the workout. We've got an interesting workout today. Two AMRAPs, one for our lower body, one for our upper body and we're going to like the burn. Let's get started. All right, so we've got, technically we've got four movements, but when we do it in the workout, it's going to feel like six movements, okay? I'm going to take you one by one. The first movement is a split stance squat with the right leg. So when you're going to do a split stance squat with your right leg, how is it going to look? Take the right leg in the front, get the left leg behind, only the toes will be in contact with the floor, get the dumbbell onto your shoulders. From there, bend your knee and go down into a squat. The weight should completely be on the front leg. Rear leg is barely doing anything. It's just the toenail that is touching the floor. Stand back up. 
that's going to be your split stand squat grab your dumbbells try about 3 reps each side and you should be good go down breathe in exhale at the top go down breathe in exhale at the top right three reps i'm going to grab the dumbbell onto the other arm switch legs again rear leg barely touching the floor complete weight on my front leg if i take my rear leg i my body is not moving at all right grab the dumbbell let's go again when you are standing up if you press the heel hard you will feel the glutes getting activated as well all right this is one movement the second movement is going to be our split stance deadlift again same position as the split stance squat rear leg only the toes on the floor front leg complete weight on the front leg grab the dumbbell in one arm all you have to do is this time push your hips back not bending your knees the rear knee can bend the front knee is soft it will mildly bend have a look bend down touch the floor come back up bend down touch the floor come back up bend down touch the floor come back up also notice how you press the heel hard to come back up that is when you will feel your hamstring as well as your glutes go all the way down come back up go all the way down come back up one more go all the way down come back So these were the two movements that I was talking about but when we do it in the workout because we'll do right leg and left leg separately it's going to feel like four different movements Split stance squats works on your quads glutes split stance deadlifts works on your hamstrings and glutes one mu- one muscle group that is left is your calf so we're going to be doing two movements for the calves first one is going to be our calf raises very simple stand with your feet as wide as your hips or shoulders or somewhere between that whichever feels comfortable in a natural standing position all you have to do is go up raise your heels come back down what i want you to do is stand up squeeze your calves for at least 1 or 2 seconds come back down go up squeeze your calves come back down let the blood flow into those muscles feel that contraction that's going to help you a lot all right that's going to be your third movement for the fourth movement we'll be doing donkey calf raises which is when you want bend down keep your palms down on the floor and then do the same calf raises now a lot of people do the calf raises in the donkey calf raise position wrong by basically bending their knees and then going down while bending your knees you are not actually feeling it in your calf try and keep your knees soft and raise your hips up so if you bend your knees it's going to look something like this if you raise your hips up it's going to look something like this knees are still there as opposed to when you bend your knees it's going to go forward like that right you want to raise your hips up and down hips up and down now what is the workout it's going to be an amrap for 10 minutes as many rounds as possible in 10 minutes how do we go about it you're going to grab a dumbbell start off with the right leg keep the dumbbell in your left arm we'll first do 10 split stance squats as soon as we are done with 10 split stance squats get the dumbbell down do 10 split stance deadlifts Once you're done with the ten split stance deadlifts, you're going to stand, grab two dumbbells, do twenty calf raises. Finish off with twenty calf raises. Repeat the same thing onto the opposite side. Grab the dumbbell on your right hand. Ten split stance squats on the left leg. Ten split stance squats on the uh, split stance deadlifts on the left leg, and then finally we'll finish it off with twenty donkey calf raises. It's going to be a long one. You will not even realize when ten minutes are over. We're going to accumulate a lot of reps. Wipe that sweat off. Have some water. We'll head straight into the workout. Also, recently I saw someone post about RPE and how they actually incorporated that when they were not feeling completely ready for the workout. Ah, uh, that. was a moment when i felt like okay job well done you've been able to actually teach people about rp uh, and you also seen me post on the group as to how i practice what i preach if i've been talking so much about rp i have to practice that as well uh, i've not been training for the past few days uh, so today my body feels a little sluggish which is why i'm going to be using a pair of tens for the entire workout today but the workout has got a lot of volume so going lighter as per how my body feels today my rp is going to be somewhere around 6 
if you've done my program you also know how to use rpe to the best possible effect so that you can optimize your training for maximum effectiveness all right so if you're feeling great go ahead pick something heavy go ahead enjoy the workout but if you are not not slept well if you're not feeling great you've showed up that's a great job make sure you start light and as and when you feel comfortable you can go heavier right let's grab the dumbbell remember i'm rep 10 all are going to be 10 reps except for the calf raises which is going to be 20 reps let's start get into a good position for the split stance squats grab the dumbbell onto your shoulders we begin in 3 2 One, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. As soon as I'm done, I'm going to break the dumbbell down and get started with my split stance deadlifts. One, bend the rear knee, keep the front knee soft, push your hips back. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 it's an am rap you can go at your own pace but try and follow my reps because the movements are programmed in a way where none of the movement is going to interfere with the other one just try and stick to the pace and you'll be fine for the entire 10 minute interval right for the calf raises grab the other dumbbell as well stand and let's get started with 20 reps of calf raises hold and down 1 2 Three, 4 5 6 7 squeeze your calves at the top 8 9 10 you want to be very careful with the calf raises because it might get challenging to balance yourself right that is why hold for that 3 second or 2 second interval that will help you improve your balance as well and it will also give you a very good contraction in the calves 15 four more calves are a very stubborn muscle group they are actually more stubborn than your biceps and 20 an interesting fact that a lot of people don't know your calves are actually bigger than your biceps a lot of people spend a lot of time training their biceps and don't spend enough time on their calves If you do the opposite your knees and ankles will always thank you for the same. Okay, we are done with calf raises. Moving on to the other side. Get the dumbbell onto your shoulders. Split stance squats on the left leg. Let's go. 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 Seven, eight, nine, ten. Done with the squats. Moving on to the split stance deadlifts. Again, keep the front knee soft. Bend the rear knee. Push your hips back. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right. Done with one set. I'm going to keep the dumbbell down. We still have twenty donkey calf raises. Keeping the dumbbell just so that I have something to hold on to when I'm doing my calf raises. keep your fingers don't press too much let the weight still be on your ankles from there raise your hips up 1 2 3 4 keep going for 20 seconds look at how i'm squeezing my calves at the top 
Hold it for one to two seconds. Feel the contraction in your calves. Halfway there. Eight more. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. That was round one. We are almost five minutes into it. Let's try and get one more round. All right, let's grab the dumbbell, get it up onto our shoulders, split stance squats on the right side. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and ten. Get the dumbbell down. Deadlifts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and 10 again grabbing the dumbbell for the calf raises this time i want all of you to watch the calves how i am contracting and holding it one two three four five finding it hard to balance six Seven, eight, nine, ten. Halfway there. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two and one. I'm going to keep it here because I know I am going to need them once again for the donkey calf raises. Moving on to the left side, again getting the dumbbell overhead onto my shoulder and 10 reps of the split stance squats. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, can feel the burn and the struggle as well. This time, ten split stance deadlifts. Let's go. One, two, three, four, keep the weight on your heels, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, moving on, 20 donkey calf raises. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Almost there. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, notice how I am raising my hips, 3, 2 and 1, 
All right, we have about 40 seconds left. We'll try and get one set of one movement on both sides. Starting off with the split stance squats on the right leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We just have nine seconds left, but we'll finish ten reps on the opposite leg as well, just to have the symmetry in place. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right. That was our first time wrap. We'll take a three minute break before we get started with the second arm wrap which will be for seven minutes and will be for our upper body catch your breath walk up and down your mat have some water if needed and then we'll be back at the mat soon mind you a lot of you might be feeling we just did two rounds and say an additional one movement for 10, 10 reps each. When you look at it that way, it feels like you didn't do a lot of stuff. You didn't do a lot of reps. You didn't accumulate enough volume. But then you might also be asking, why is it that you're sweating so much, right? If you look at it from a different point of view, every round you did 80 reps. 10 split stance deadlift each side that will be 20 split stance squats each side again 20 and then 20 calf raises of two kinds two rounds would be 160 reps and then again 20 more reps of the squats so that was technically 180 reps in 10 minutes and that is the reason why it's that much more effective in 10 minutes even though I am not feeling like, okay, I am running out of breath or say I am not able to get in as much oxygen. My heart rate was still at around 178 when I finished the AMRAP and right now also it's around 156. So getting the desired outcome is not just a function of how much out of breath are you feeling or how much sweat are you able to generate. It's all about how effectively are you able to engage your muscles, use your muscles we call something called a mind muscle connection if your mind muscle connection is very good if you're able to recuperate your muscles to as much as say 90% or above any form of workout is going to be a great workout for you right so let's get into the second part which is going to be our upper body workout for that we have four movements, rather simple. I'll just take you through all the four movements. You can practice two to three reps. First movement is going to be our hand release push-ups. Stand, start from a high plank, go down, touch the chest to the floor, take your hands off the floor, press yourself up. That's going to be your hand release push-up. If you're struggling with that, drop your knees down, touch, hands off, press yourself up, right? We'll be doing seven reps of this one. Second movement is going to be what we call the bent over dumbbell row. Grab two dumbbells, hold them at the side, roll your shoulders back, push your hips back, get the dumbbells below your knees from there, pull the dumbbells back to your hips and keep rowing. We'll be doing 14 reps of this movement, 7, 14. Once you're done with that, you go down, get into a nice pike position. From the high plank, go into downward dog, raise the heels up, get the weight on your palms get the palms slightly back from there form a tripod go down press yourself up pike push-ups again we'll do seven reps of these right and then finally we're going to finish it off with 14 hang dumbbell cleans again grab both the dumbbells 
keep the dumbbells at a diagonal position lower it till your knees shrug jump and receive it on your shoulders we'll do again 14 reps of the dumbbell cleans right as simple as that now why do we pick these movements hand release push ups horizontal push bent over row horizontal pull pike push ups vertical push dumbbell cleans vertical pull we are working push pull both in the horizontal plane and the vertical plane covering almost every muscle in our body push ups chest tricep shoulders pike push ups triceps shoulders bent over rows lats dumbbell cleans traps lats forearms almost everything right grab a quick sip of water let's get started this is going to be amrap 7 7 push ups 14 dumbbell rows 7 pike push ups 14 dumbbell cleans mind you 7 minutes feels like it's not too much you might end up going way too fast in the beginning trust me go slow it's going to get harder as and when we progress by the time you are into your fourth or fifth minute it's going to hit you hard so go slow sustain for the entire 7 minute interval all right let's get started we begin in the next 5 seconds get into a nice high plank position let's start in 3 2 1 push-ups 7 minute am rap 7 hand release push-ups 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 as soon as i'm done with my push-ups i'm going to grab the dumbbells get started with my bent over rows again roll your shoulders back push your hips back at the dumbbells below your knees and pull the dumbbells to your hips 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 4 3 2 1 again like i said i have not had a great week of training didn't sleep well don't feel at my best going at around an rp of 6 using a lightweight dumbbell if you feel great go for a heavier pair of dumbbells moving on seven pike push ups get into a nice pike position and then go ahead get started with your pike push ups make a tripod touch press 2 3 4 notice how my triceps are working and elbows are not flaring out seven reps done try and keep your elbows close to your body now comes the challenging part the dumbbell cleans go as slow and controlled on the dumbbell cleans because it's an explosive movement and is going to burn you out real bad right feet as wide as your hips roll your shoulders back let's go 1 2 3 Make sure you shrug on every rep. Three, four. Keep the dumbbells close to your body. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, one round done. We'll move straight into the second round. Seven hand release push-ups. On the floor. Let's go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Handle these push-ups. Already feel challenging in the second round itself. 
Shake your arms because we are using our shoulders a lot. Grab the dumbbells. Let's go for our bent over rows. Shoulders roll back. Dumbbells below the knees. And go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Four, three, two, and one. On the dumbbell rows, make sure you're squeezing your armpits. It'll really help you activate your lats really well. Okay, moving on to the pike push-ups. Get into a nice pike position. Weight on the palms, heels off the floor, heels next to your arms. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. All right, heart rate's over the roof, around 175. Quickly wiping that sweat off, and dumbbell cleans. Fourteen reps, slow and controlled. One, look at how I shrug on every rep, and look at how my knees lock out when I pull the dumbbells up. Three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's four. Four, three. Two and one. All right. We still have about 90 seconds. Let's see how far we can go. Hand release push ups, seven reps. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, and seven. Grab the dumbbells. We have about 50 seconds left. Dumbbell bent over rows. Shoulders roll back, dumbbells below the knees, and row. Squeeze your armpits. Four, Three, two, and one. All right, 30 seconds left. Let's see if we can get the pike push-ups. Get into a nice pike position and go. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven. All right, time's up. Otherwise, I would have definitely gone for the dumbbell cleans and finished three full rounds. Let's quickly wipe that sweat off, sit down, and catch our breath. Sit down on your knees, it'll help you recover your legs as well. Let's take 10 deep breaths in the seating position. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right. 
that was one spicy workout okay without further ado let's get straight into the cool down because that will also help us get our heart rate down and it will make us feel a little less stressful the first stretch is going to be what we call the harmless prayer we're going to hold this for 30 seconds you're going to stay in your child's pose get your elbows on the mat from there try and get your arms onto your neck press the elbow down hold that position for 30 seconds keep breathing with every exhale try and get your armpits closer and closer towards the floor all right 30 seconds up the next stretch is going to be a standing hamstring stretch lately i started enjoying the standing hamstring stretch a lot because in the seated position somehow i feel like i could feel a better stretch and that job is being done by the standing hamstring stretch so for the standing hamstring stretch stand with your feet close to each other you can even touch them together or you can keep it somewhere between absolutely joined together or hip width apart from there get your hands on your palms on your thighs slowly slide down your palms down until you reach a point where you can't keep your knees locked any further i can get it till here hold it for 30 seconds if you feel that your stretch is getting weaker and weaker you can get deeper into the stretch with every exhale hold it all right 30 seconds the next stretch is what we call the figure four for our glutes again we've done a bunch of split stance squats we're going to lie down on our back for that i i seem like i've opened up the gates for my sweat glands i found a secret gateway to my sweat glands i just don't seem to be stopping my sweat okay figure four get one ankle on the opposite knee grab your hamstring and pull the hamstring to your chest hold that position for 30 seconds you should feel a great stretch in your glutes while you are doing any stretch make sure you are breathing so research says that uh, the more oxygen you breathe in and exhale, car exhale carbon dioxide out it helps in burning fat because uh, mass can neither be created nor destroyed it can only be transferred so the combustion process of converting oxygen to carbon dioxide uses fat to burn right 30 seconds up and then switch legs so while we are exercising uh, the metabolism kind of increases because you're using all the energy sources in your body uh, along with that if you focus on your breathing it's going to help you a lot to use up the mitochondria sources to burn some fat and use it as energy right five four three two one and rest okay next movement is going to be for our quads the kneeling bridge for that you will be sitting down on your knees hips down on your ankles get your palms behind your ankles on the floor from that position you can raise your hips up if this is something that is very easy and does not give you a great stretch you can try dropping your elbows down and then try and raise your hips up again we'll hold this for 30 seconds almost there if your legs start shivering it's only because you're holding the stretch really well and you're putting in all the blood into those muscles and 30 seconds all right come back up next stretch is going to be our kneeling wrist stretch 
uh, we've done the dumbbell cleans and the bent over rows so it kind of activates our forearms and our wrists so we'll just stretch them as well get the palms on the floor such that the fingers are pointing towards your knees from there slightly lean backwards and hold that position for 30 seconds you'll feel a great stretch in your wrist keep breathing slightly keep leaning backwards feel that stretch almost there halfway there and 5 4 3 2 1 and done all right one last stretch to call it a day we'll be stretching our traps we've done a bunch of dumbbell cleans grab a dumbbell hold it on one side bend your neck to the other side and hold that stretch for 30 seconds hold the dumbbell as loose as you can it's going to help you stretch your trap let's go half way there and 5 4 3 2 1 and switch sides opposite side it truly felt like a true full body session uh, i can for sure say there is not a single muscle left in my body that didn't feel that okay i didn't work today right every muscle was used 3 2 1 and rest okay this was a different style of workout we did two am wraps uh, we trained the lower body in the first am wrap and then we trained the upper body in the second one quickly grab a sip of water i am feeling supremely dehydrated let me know how did you like the workout today in the facebook group stronger together with cult fit home really helps us bring out the best possible sessions for all of you so that we can enjoy the workouts together right that's it from my end guys i'll see you on the other side with another interesting dumbbell workout until then stay fit stay healthy we've come to the end of the session because we've done a full body let's hold the most muscular pose or what we call in layman terms the bulldog pose grab two ropes pull it hard and strong to the bottom get your wrists close to each other on the count of 3 to 1 and when we say the ritual we are cut all right ready 3 Two, one. We are cut. More such workout videos. Download the Calfit app now. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are cut.